Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will understand set object. In the previous lecture, we had learned what is a weak map. Now in this tutorial, we will understand the concept behind the set object. So let's get started. The set object is identical to map object, but the set object allows you to store unique values of any type. It means set object is a collection of data where duplicates are not allowed. To create a set object, you just need to call the set object constructor, just like this. So I will just call the set object constructor here. So I will say constant st is equal to new set and specify parenthesis, right? Now to add elements in the set object, we have add method. Using the add method, you can add element in the set object, just like this. So I'm going to add st dot add and specify your element. So I will just specify one value in the set object. So I will say one here. To add another value, just call the add method again. So I will say st dot add two, right? So this will add two values in the set object. If you are trying to insert the same values again, then set object would not insert this value in the collection because set object only store unique values. So if I just add the two value again, just like this, st.add2 and the set object will not insert this value because we had already inserted two in the set collection, right? You are free to specify any type of data in the set object. Like this, if you wanted to insert object in the set, so you can say st.add and in the curly braces, you can say a colon 1 comma b colon 2. So using this, you can add object in the set collection. There is another way to declare set object, just like this. You just need to specify array in the set object constructor. So if I just add an array here, so I will just say square bracket and specify values. So I will just specify some values. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4 and here I will specify duplicate values. So I will specify 4 here again. Right? So when you print this, you will get only 1, 2, 3 and 4. You will not get duplicate values in the set because set is not print duplicate values it only accept unique values right now to know whether the element is present in the set or not you can use has method using the has method you will know which element is present in the set collection has method will return true if the element is present in the collection or return false just like this if i just say st dot has and specify element so i will just say 4 here then the return value would be true because we have 4 in the set collection and if the element is not present in the set object you will get false on the console so if i just specify 5 here then you will get false on the console right to delete the element from the set we have a delete method also like this st dot delete and specify your element in the parenthesis so i will specify 4 here so when you print this set object on the console you can see the fourth element is deleted right to iterate set object you can use for of loop or for each loop also like this so i will first iterate this object using the for of loop so i will say for and in the parenthesis i will say let item of st so st is my set object instance and then in the curly braces i will say console.log and specify item variable here so this will print set object collection on the console There is one more method to iterate the set collection using for each loop. So I will just say st dot for each 
and in the parenthesis i will call the arrow function so i will just specify my argument so i will say value here and specify arrow and in the curly braces i will say console.log value right so this will also print set collection on the console right now let's move on to the next topic weak set in the previous lecture we had learned what is weak map if you had not watched that video then you should watch that first and move on with this lecture the weak set is identical to weak map there is no difference between weak set and weak map except their declaration weak set follows the set object principle and weak map follows the map object principle weak set is collection of objects and the object is unique in the weak set collection the weak set can only contain objects and the objects contain maybe garbage collected values in weak set cannot be iterated weak set is rarely used object in the javascript now let's consider the following example so if i just declare a weak set here so we just wanted to call the constructor of the weak set class so i will just say constant ws is equal to new weak set and specify parenthesis just after that i will create two objects here so i will just say let obj is equal to curly braces so we are creating two empty objects and just say comma foo is equal to curly braces right so this will create two empty objects just after that i will add these objects in the weak set object so i will just say ws dot add and specify my first object in the parenthesis so i will just say object here and just after that i will add my second object in the parenthesis right so using console.log you can see we have two objects in the weak set right now to delete these objects you can use delete method like this so i will just say ws dot delete and in the parenthesis i will specify foo right and when i print this you will get only one object on the console because we had deleted one object from the weak set right to know whether the object is present in the collection or not you can use has method also so if you just say ws dot has and specify your foo object here then you will get false on the console because we had already deleted a foo object from the weak set right that's it that is all for this lecture i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more quickly that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial